Uh, this question comes from Barry Laffer in New York City. Berkshire owns about 94 million shares of Paramount Global as of the last published data. This asset-rich company has disappointed on recent quarterly earnings reports and just this week slashed its dividend by 80%. How do you see the streaming wars evolving, and do you still have conviction in your investment thesis? Is your investment thesis based on the company being an acquisition t target or based on its fundamentals? Yeah, and, and how, how would you like to manage my money for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> they, we are not in the business of of uh, giving stock advice to people, and people who don't know anything about stocks can make a lot of money doing that. And we don't think it's something we should give away. <coughs> but I will say this, it's not good news when any company passes a dividend, or cuts its dividend dramatically. And the streaming business is extremely interesting to watch because there's, people, people love to use their eyeballs watching, being entertained on, on a screen in front of them or a phone or whatever it may be. But uh, uh, there's a lot of companies doing it and you need fewer companies or you need higher prices. And, uh, well, you need higher prices or it doesn't work. And you don't lock in people when you get them to, to join up for the streaming period when your serial runs. I mean, you, you, know, you keep them on for a while, but you can't lock them up. And, uh, uh, and we'll see what happens. I mean, uh, I had a gasoline station when I was 21 or 22, and it's about three or four, four, four or five miles from here. And we had one competitor, and and uh, he determined our profit because he we looked at his price every day, and if we cut the price, he'd match it, and, and we couldn't raise the price, and. Uh, he did twice the gallonage, so he won. And there's just basic business problems that you see with certain industries that you don't see with the other. Disney was unique uh, in its animated, what it offered, you know, in the 30s and 40s. And, and they wrote the stuff off in the first showing, and then they, they uh, rejuvenated Snow White and but all these other people every seven years. And, that was fine, but this is a different world, and uh, and the eyeballs aren't going to increase dramatically, and the time they can spend are it's not going to increase dramatically, and you got a bunch of companies that don't want to quit, and uh, who knows what pricing does under that? But anybody tells you what they know, what pricing will do in the future, is is, is uh, kidding themselves. Charlie, Charlie's had a lot of experience, incidentally, with Hollywood. I mean, he used to. Before I even met him, uh, I think the movie business is one tough business. Yeah, that's my view. The talent will make the money. The agents will make the money, and if you've got a theater, you know the theaters are now doing seventy percent of the business that they did before the pandemic. And big hits, you know, you have enormous grosses, but you can't reduce the supply. People have only got so many. So many hours in the day, they've only got two eyeballs, and, and they've got more choice than ever before, and they've got stuff that's cheaper that uh, offers them the same experience, and uh, some of them like the experience, you know, particularly the big hits of going. And, but it isn't like you can double the number of people or double the eyeballs or anything like that, and, and you've got a lot of people. The talent will always get paid, and uh, when you essentially are packaging that talent one way or another uh, and you need to get higher prices and you've got a lot of strong companies that don't want to quit uh, that's an interesting an interesting equation hey, if you think the movies are tough try to invest in a New York show on a conventional stage there they think it's a breach of faith in that business to let the person to put up the money ever get any money back yeah, yeah. well, Charlie saw a lot of that, actually. When yeah, he... I, I don't like those businesses. Tell, tell them what happened on Cleopatra, Charlie. <laughs> it, no, it, 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 uh, it's a business that everybody's tempted to go. They love the idea of going in it, you know, and they get a certain amount of psychic income. But, uh, but I never owned any racehorses either. Well, I, my father-in-law and I used to talk about claiming a horse. 
at the Sarbanes, but we never quite got around to it. We had a lot of fun. We would track together. 